Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Totally. <laughs> Wait. So. Um, snow. Didn't see you there. <laughs> no. Seriously, there, there there is no snow outside whatsoever. What is it? Mid mid December. Yeah. So much for a white Christmas. Yeah. Right. About that, eh? Yeah. Um, why are we here? Um. Oh, it's like my tongue. Uh. uh we're talking about snow. 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 Holiday. Holiday. Shopping. 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 Yes. Yeah, shopping. Did you get? I got my shopping done. Yes, I got my dozen eggs. Dozen eggs. Um, oh, the Pillsbury cookies? Yes, with the with snowman. The snowman. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was so good. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, what else? So, uh, wait, Christmas. Christmas. I got my tree set up. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice and colorful. Nice. Trees, trees, trees. Um, um, when we're talking about trees, uh, deforestation. Uh, <laughs> global warming. Uh, Princess Auto. What? Like, I was thinking, like, holidays, like, snow tires. Sorry, I forgot I said it. Okay, um, but why are we here? No, to welcome everybody. Right, right. right. Welcome uh, on that note, welcome. Uh, we want to welcome you, the cast crew, Mrs. Rockfruit. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, we've been uh, working pretty hard on this on this show for a couple months now, and we just want to thank you all for coming out, and we really hope that you enjoy it. Um, so, just to finish this off quickly, Justice. Throw out some of your uh, best Christmas puns. Let's go. Okay. Where do Santa Claus reindeer go for lunch? Where? Dairy Queen. <laughs> uh, what do you call a cat on the beach during Christmas time? What? Sandy Claus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> why? Why does uh, Santa go down the go down the chimney on Christmas Eve? Why? Because it suits him. <laughs> <laughs> Rapper during the Hanukkah season. Who? Dr. Dreidel. <laughs> no? Okay, this is uh, a to go off. Okay. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show.
<laughs> Every year, my brother and I partake in a competition as a Christmas family tree. It's been our job since we were seven years old. We go with our papa to the tree park, uh, we choose a tree, and he chooses the winner. Used to be, in the beginning, that, that we would decide on a tree together, but that was impossible. He's so competitive. <laughs> <laughs> the morning of the trip is cool and crisp. I arise extra early to make sure I have all of the proper equipment. Dirty boots, strong gloves, binoculars for the scouting, and tanks for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> but one year, he tried to claim a tree that I had clearly sighted first. <laughs> so now a tree cannot be claimed unless it has a tag on it. <sighs> Papa must set this off at exactly the same time. He always tries to cheat. Laura's <laughs> foot is over the line! But his body is too far forward! <laughs> Inevitably, Papa tells us to settle down, or oh, he will pick the first scrawny broke bristle spruce he can find and leave us for the dogs! <laughs> oh, that Papa! What a sense of humor! <laughs> the Papa! The air is silent. There's nothing but Papa's hand. And the trees. Okay. 
Okay, you caught me. I thought today's the season to be working on this project together. After next week, it'll all be over. I just wanted to get you a little something. A little present. A Christmas thing. Merry Christmas. I didn't get you to do anything. I didn't expect anything. Well, aren't you going to open it? No. I understand. You're a traditionalist. A woman after my own heart. Christmas presents should be opened on Christmas Day. No, that's not what I meant. This is a very nice idea, but I can't accept it. What do you mean? Take it back, please. Take it back? You're rejecting a Christmas present? Take it back? You haven't even seen it yet. Sure, I've done the ugly sweater I but at least I opened it and saw it was a sweater and went, gee, what a nice sweater a couple of times. Are you trying to pulverize my heart in a tiny bit? It's your own fault. If you had asked, I would have told you not to. And why is that? We don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, what an idiot. I didn't know. <laughs> now you do. I didn't clue in. Shelby Lambert doesn't sound like a Jewish name. Who's Jewish? You are. That's why you celebrate Christmas, right? I'm not Jewish. Oh. Shall we get started? I oh, guess we're... oh. What? I get it now. Get what? That's what's missing here. There's no tree. There's no wreaths. There's no Christmas decorations of any kind. You never know it was December. You know, my uncle works at a tree farm, and I could probably get you a pretty good deal. Maybe I can... Then, if we wanted a tree, we'd have one. We don't, okay? Right. It's a commercial thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you seem like the kind of girl, um, woman, who really shun all that money job. I totally agree. People spending way too much money once a year on things they don't need instead of spending... Look! Will you just shut up? Just shut up! You don't have to shout. Then shut up about Christmas, okay? Just do your work, get out of here, and leave me alone! You are trying to pulverize my heart in tiny bits. I am not! All I was trying to do was spend five minutes thinking about something next to you. I wrapped it myself. I thought I was doing a nice thing. And you did. Then open it and say, <laughs> gee, what a nice sweater! <laughs> don't say other words. I can't. Then give, give me a good reason why not. You know, I defend you a lot at school. Me, I have come to your defense. Cold fish comes up a lot, so does snob, pretentious, and stuck up. No, no, I say. She's funny. She's just new. She's shy. She doesn't know many people. Obviously, I've been the biggest fool because obviously everyone was right about you, and I just couldn't see it. Well, this sucks. Merry Christmas. I'll let myself out. You don't get off that easy. I've said all I have to say. I haven't even started. Sit down. Ask me who's in this picture. Shelly. Ask. Who's in the picture? That's my dad. Pretty handsome guy, don't you think? Ask me where he is. Maybe I should. Ask me where he is. Come on, you wanted to talk? Ask me where he is. Where's your dad? I don't know. Isn't that funny? Isn't that a scream? I don't know. Two years ago on Christmas Eve, he went away and never came home. I'm sorry. Don't be. He stole money from his company and ran away with the boss secretary. Merry Christmas. Well, that's our nearest guess anyways. No one knows for sure because there's not been one word. Not one. Not a letter. Not a text. Not an email. Not even a postcard. Nothing. He left us with debts up to our ears and we didn't even get to say goodbye. How's your dad? Is he alive? Does he talk to you every day? Loudly. Well, good. <laughs> because around here, there isn't much talking. Around here, we bounce from apartment to apartment, and my mom tries to keep working, but she isn't very strong. My dad knew that, and he left. So I'm sorry if I'm being cold, distant, or pretentious, but my mind's a little full from only getting three hours of sleep last night from working the night shift at 7 Eleven. And I could really give a crap about Christmas because all it meant to me is that my father didn't love my mother and he didn't love me. I didn't know. Now you do. And no one else will either. You got it? But if you told people. No. Okay. You know, talking isn't a bad thing. You may have noticed that I like to talk. Silence bothers me. <laughs> Anytime there's a silence, I fill it. <laughs> like now. Sometimes I talk too much. Sometimes. I'm not good at conversation. I had a godmother who perfected the art of conversation. It was said she could talk a hole into the ground. And she did. And she fell in. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean well. That's what my mother says. I'm an idiot, but I mean well. She's <laughs> right. You are an idiot. It's just chocolate. Not even the good kind. I'll bet it's really good. I'm sorry, Shelly. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry I yelled at you. No, I deserved it. And I don't think you're cold. I think you're warm. 
Very, very warm. And if I was a brave man, I'd say you were hot even. I think you just did. I think I did too. <laughs> My name is Edward Ignatius Andraki. I am 12 years old, and I'm in the seventh grade in Miss Bingham's class. I come from a broken home, if that's any consolation. But it probably doesn't matter. I can feel your anger wafting towards me, waves of anger coming at me like a freight train. I don't necessarily believe that a 12-year-old should feel all of this anger wafting towards them, but that is only my opinion. I am standing here before you, my fellow classmates, schoolmates, their families, the teachers, the principal, the school board, and selected members of the television and print media. Yes, I see you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> apologize. <laughs> I apologize to my fellow classmates, schoolmates, their families, the teachers, the principal, the school board, and selected members of the television and print media. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Christmas is a holiday and a tradition that is not to be toyed with, even though large parts of the population don't celebrate it or could care less about it. Christmas trees are part of that tradition. And therefore, I should not have expressed my opinion about the unnecessary slaughter of spruce and pine. <laughs> I should not have expressed my opinions about Christmas in the manner in which I chose to express them. They were... wrong. <laughs> my mother always said to not be afraid to say what I think, and I should always express my opinion. But, I guess she was wrong too. But, she wishes I was a girl if that's any consolation. <laughs> I live day by day never fully realizing the dream she had as a young woman. Shopping with her daughter. Manny Petties with her daughter. Watching rom-coms with her daughter. Baking with her daughter. But, I am quite the competent baker if that's any consolation. <laughs> I should not have kicked the school Christmas tree over. <laughs> I should not have destroyed all the handmade ornaments that were carefully crafted and chosen as a sign that they were the best Christmas tree ornaments in the entire school. Not that I encourage competitions of such a nature. <laughs> I should not have spray painted the words tree killers on the floor of the front foyer of the school. <laughs> and in the gym. <laughs> and in the hallway where the kindergartens enter. <laughs> And on the staff room door, <laughs> I should not have, I should not have hijacked the office and spoken my opinions over the PA. I should not have power stapled the secretary's blouse to the front office desk. I should... <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Walden. <laughs> I should not have made the kindergarten class cry. <laughs> I should not have broadcast my opinions over the PA that to cut down an innocent tree and to display with God for students of such a crass tradition was an act to be damned in hell! I should not have done all of these things. <laughs> and I apologize for the mental anguish I have done on you and your own. My opinions, even though you're not supposed to be able to censor an opinion, it's because what those thoughts and opinions are what supposedly make us human beings different from animals We're wrong. 
I was very, 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 very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had the chance to do this day over again, if I had the chance to do this day over again, I would. Of course, I would. I would. I do it exactly the same. I don't apologize for what I did. You could have put up an artificial tree if that wasn't bad enough. But no, you had to go out and slay. I repeat, slay and stick it in someone where it doesn't belong. I'm not gonna give up my fight. You can take this apology and nail it to the gym door. Save the trees. Save the trees. Be la revolution. You are grounded. Oh. Three accidents! <laughs> Drivers were taking their hands off the wheel to cover their 
ears. What? Why aren't you in over a highway? It was Terry's idea. I thought that the soothing music would cut down a number of cases of road rage. Oh, I see. You do? I do. So you see how this is all just synonymous to state, right? A case of two angels trying to spread their wings, so to speak. <laughs> I said that. 
it stinks, and that it's rotten, and that it's just plain awful. <laughs> it stands out. It's like three cats attached to a ceiling fan at high speed. <laughs> We've had complaints. A lot. It just doesn't mesh. We don't think that your unique style suits the melodic quality that the choir is looking for. It stands out. It just doesn't mesh. So... So... So, what you're saying is I'm not the choir? Yes. We're so glad you understand. We knew that you would. We hear there's some openings in cloud control. Maybe you can try that. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll just turn in my class. Zero wait! Daryl, what are you doing? She understood. What about me? I'm not <laughs> Committee for a very long time, and I'm ashamed to say that this is not one of our finer moments. Now, Zaryl, tell me this. Do you love the choir? Do you love to sing? Oh, yeah. It's the one time I truly feel like an angel. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit clumsy. I'm a little bit unorganized. A little bit. But when I sing, none of that matters. I don't know what it is, but I use my whole soul to do it. <laughs> Maybe you don't let me sing without the soul. I doubt it. <laughs> Sarah, would you step forward, please? Sarah, do you love the choir? Do you love to sing? I'm a very good singer. <laughs> That's it? Any choir would be bad enough to have me. Oh, I see. I think there's only one answer here. I totally agree with Ariel. 100%. Keep your sash. What? What? <laughs> Daryl, can we talk to you over here for a minute? Excuse me. You heard Sariel's voice? You heard Sariel's voice. Yes, and? <laughs> <laughs> but why? 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 Because I think it's more important to have someone with more heart than talent than to have someone with more talent than heart. <laughs> well, you see, there are three members to this committee. We have number you, two, to one. And we say the Daryl is out. O-U-T out. And I am the senior member of this committee, and I say she's in. I am in. And if you continue to pursue this, then I will resign from my position as head of the choir committee, and you two can explain to the powers that be what happened here today. Do you two think you can do that? <laughs> hey, Daryl, welcome to the choir. We're so glad to have you. You mean it? I guess I'll say it's not a joke. Does it look like we're laughing? <laughs> Like that one year when I made a macaroni 
mosquito bird, okay? I want a real tree. I want real light. I like color, and I'm not afraid to say it. I like red and blue and green and gold and broad and chartreuse and tan. I like color, and I really wanted those rollerblades. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 
exaggerating. Who's exaggerating? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. Please, please, please. <laughs> Although I should have expected this from the guy who gives myrrh as a gift. It's not exactly happy life. Great tidings have great joy. It's like driving a hearse to a wedding. I mean, why on earth did you bring funeral perfume as a gift for a child? I was told to. By who? I'd rather not say. Gaffer wasn't told to bring it. I wasn't told to bring it. Oh, gold! How original! Who told you? I'd rather not say. Why not? Because you'll make fun! I won't. When have I ever made fun of you? <laughs> Only every second of this journey! Well, sir, if you want to talk, I'd like to know why. Alright, I'll tell you. <laughs> what would you like me to do, plug my ears? That would be fine, yeah. Why don't we stand over here? You got to be fair. I had a dream. It's like I was there, although no one could see me. And my hand was on my shoulder, I felt it. Although when I turned and I looked, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> was I talking to you? Not your. If you don't have anything nice to say. Alright. Besides, it's no more ridiculous than traveling the desert, following a star, and searching for a baby we don't even know for sure exists. Fair so what did the light say? I don't, I don't necessarily remember. I had lamb for dinner and me and lamb don't sit well. I had a restless night. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Do the best that you can. I think, I think the light said... I didn't say anything. I was like to I think the lady said, this man is about to be bored about the song. He'll do great things. Oh, this deserves a celebration, I said. No, said the light. Others will celebrate. This man must know what he's, had, what he's getting into since day one. You can help him with that. That's why I chose her. It's a good choice. Really? I've doubted myself all along. Especially with Mr. Goldfinger. What's wrong with the people? Oh. So you still haven't answered my question. Why are you here? I was going to come. I know. You know, if this guy is going to be the king of the kings, it would be a good guy to have around for business. And gold is a worthy gift from one king to another. That's the only reason? Money, business, politics? How disappointing. I'm sorry I'm not like you that, but I don't know how many crazy things you can say. I think you do believe. This is without a doubt the craziest thing you have ever done. You must believe. No, I believe in my instincts. I trust my gut, and when my gut tells me something, I make it. Well, what does your gut tell you? <laughs> I'll tell you this. I really felt the time of the world. You do. The world is a changing place. Maybe it's us. I don't know. It's hard to fathom right now, standing here in the middle of nowhere. I think you do believe. You do believe in this crazy journey, and you do believe we're going to find something at the end of it. My God, that doesn't necessarily Baloney! If you've done something like this before, so there's going to be good laws all day. My advisor is black. And yet you still came. It's okay, Doc, so you can leave. Not yours on the no, side. I never no, I never said that. No, no, no. What I can't believe is that there's a set of lights coming this way. It looks like a transport. <laughs> what would a transport be in the middle of the desert? What would three wise men be doing in the middle of the desert? We're waiting for a transport to pick them up. <laughs> hey, over here. Hey, what is he doing out here? Looks like a miracle to me. Why don't you take a smile off your face right now? Not in a million years. <laughs> nope, nope, too good to be true. Nope, he could be driving by just to taunt us. Or he could be on a lamb. Or he could make a habit of picking up unsuspecting hitchhikers. Maybe he saw your gold out here. Maybe we're doomed. 
well last year because it's been so massacre. There's so much busting. It's all over the living room floor. Of course, this girl mom is too crazy because she really likes clean carpets. And then this girl dad is too crazy because, well, he hasn't been smoking in Stephanie's way. These people are vomiting rabbits and silver tin so. Oh, it was awful. I'll just remember how he just stood up that day and he screamed, That's it! Either Snowball Ghost or the Tinsel Ghost! What? How am I supposed to choose? These are my two favorite things in the world! I've got Snowball, my beautiful white and fluffy cat. She's so loyal when I tell her all my secrets and she's my best friend. Or oh, Tinsel, my favorite thing, my favorite holiday, my favorite decoration. It's a beautiful, shiny example of the spirit of Christmas and everything that it means. There's no way I can keep it. There's no way I can keep that in one. If I have to choose. What do I choose? What do I choose? All right, so now, children, you need to be center stage so the audience can see. Yeah, the 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 the
Morello, are you or are you not? Is that not the number five in your hands? Mr. Manmeyer? I know you today because I chose you myself. I chose you for your clear and crystalline vocal cords, which reflected the hurt and destruction that's been shown us all. Do you not want to reflect the hurt and destruction of your life? Pray tell, Marillo, what behooves you to resist in such a way that you will not reflect the hurt and destruction? <laughs>
forgotten dreams, lost hopes and death desires. Tell me you're on Ken's face, what do you understand? <laughs> Every year I am asked to name. I am demanded to have the greatest show in this Christmas pageant. Mr. Herbert comes up to me in the hallways, rubbing his hands with glee. This year's Greetings come up to me. Is it lasers to shoot, Mr. Mayor Meyer? Are you going to use a confetti cannon again? Those teachers, those endless, covetous gemstones teachers. Oh, we taught 30 great twos to rollerblade. How wonderful. Oh, if I repeated everything like they did, if I had something that was the night before Christmas, oh, I'd be cute! <laughs> My whole life revolves around this stupid, stupid Christmas pageant! <laughs> you're going to do this. Marillo, you're going to get up there and you're going to wave your fifth day sign and cry! <laughs> you're all going to do it, okay? You're going to like it! <laughs>
guys. Um, we are the three of us are returning students to MCBI um, for a fifth year, and it's just been really awesome to work with all the juniors. There's so much talent here, um, and I think we're very comfortable to leave the drama department in their hands. Totally. Um, especially under the watchful eye of Miss Rockford, who we would like to thank.